What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Horse Racing 2016. This game is $9.99, and it's an easy two-hour completion. However, this game was recently on sale for $0.99, cents, so hopefully you guys picked that up. So let's go ahead and start this game up. I'm going to name my horse Chivo Horse, and my jockey's name is going to be YouTube. So YouTube riding the Chivo horse. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and pick the default character. They all have the same statistics. I think you have to keep playing the game to unlock a better jockey. However, I just rocked the same jockey throughout the whole game. So there is five different races in each season. There is 10 seasons total. We have to complete all 10 seasons and at least get top three in each race. You don't necessarily need to get first place at all. We just need to get top three. So basically, we have 10 seasons, five races each. We have 50 races to get this full completion. It's going to take about two, maybe even three hours, depending on your skill. Now, there are four different types of races. First is the time trial race. The time trial race is a one lap race, and you have to try to get a better time than your opponents. Again, we only need to get top three. So even if you get third place, that's fine. But if you get fourth, Place, we're going to go ahead and restart that race. Next is the easiest type of race, which is a straight race. That one is simply a straightaway, no turns. That's going to be the quickest race to get done. Then we have a normal race, which is going to be a full lap, a normal horse race. And then we have hurdles, which is a normal race with hurdles. You can press LB to jump over hurdles. I'm going to cover some gameplay and I'll cover each of these race types. Uh, that way I can give you guys some tips and tricks on each of them. So let's go ahead and dive into the first race. Um, I started off with the straightaway race. Um, that way I can just go ahead and explain the basics to you guys. So once you press start race right here, it's immediately going to start the boost meter for the perfect start. The key to winning any of these race types is to get a perfect start. Now the way you do this is by aligning the top and the bottom arrows with each other or at least pretty close. You want to make sure that you get in with the green. As long as you get them lined up into the green, you are sure to get at least top three in any of these races. I'll talk more about getting a perfect start in a sec. For now, I want to explain racing in itself. So to keep on racing fast, you need to keep pressing the A button the whole race. So this is where you're really going to wear out your thumb and your A button. I personally wouldn't recommend doing this completion in a full two to three hour run because literally your hand might fall off. When I was playing, I made sure to give myself breaks. I would play like two seasons and then I would switch games and then I would come back to it and play another two seasons and that's how I got it done. Now, the game has 10 achievements total. We get our first achievement after our first race. That one's only for 10 gamer score. You wanna get your second achievement after five races, and then we get two achievements at 10 races, then we get another achievement at 25 races, and then we get four achievements once we complete the game at 50 races. Next thing I wanna talk about is whipping your horse. That's the blue meter that you see around the horse character. When it's full, you wanna press RB to whip your horse. This is going to make you speed up. You don't wanna whip your horse too much because then his stamina is going to get really low. If you let his stamina get too low, you'll see that he gets red and he gets angry. And if you let it go even further than that and empty the stamina bar, your horse will literally collapse. Now let's talk about a perfect start once again. So once you see the start race screen, you wanna just keep pressing A. If you get the wrong start, you can go ahead and press start and go to restart. Keep pressing A. If you keep pressing A right at that start meter, you're going to get a perfect start because the meter starts right after that screen. So once you see that screen, just keep spamming A and you'll get a perfect start. You'll realize you don't wanna spam it too fast because then you won't get a perfect start. But if you kinda of just press AA, then um, you'll realize that you get a perfect start pretty much every time. So um, I pressed A after start game pretty much immediately all the time to get all of my perfect starts. The other tip I have for normal races, hurdles, and time trials is to hug the corners, just like with a normal racing game. You wanna hug the corners and you're going to get an advantage over your opponents. Now, obviously, this is going to be a lot easier if you have some sort of turbo controller because then that can keep pressing A for you and you, know, um, you won't wear your thumb out or your controller out. And then the last thing I really wanna to talk to you guys about is the hurdles. So once you play a hurdle match, this is going to be um, a full lap. You wanna make sure that you get a perfect start. Like I said, with any match, you wanna get a perfect start. Now you wanna press LB to hurdle. It is a little delayed when you press it. So 
I'd say you want to press it like two horses ahead of the hurdle. Next recommendation for hurdle races is that I recommend using your whip or turbo after you jump over the hurdle. So once the match starts off, I don't use my whip right away when the meter is full. I don't use it until after I jump over the first hurdle. Now typically you'll only get two whips with a full stamina bar. I usually use my third whip coming around the corner. And if you're lucky, you might have enough stamina for a fourth whip, but I wouldn't push it. The other thing I would recommend is you can totally cut people off in this game. So like this guy's trying to take my third place. So I just rock it in front of him and I'll make sure that he doesn't pass me. There we go go cut them off luckily we don't need to get first place as you can see i just got third place but that's good enough that'll get you the full 1000 gamer score so pretty much guys to summarize this for you we have to complete 10 seasons which is 50 races there are four different types of races i covered all four types of races beyond that I covered some tips and tricks on racing and overall it should take you about two to three hours. Most of the achievements and most of the gamer score is going to unlock once you complete that 50th race. On top of that, the most important thing you should take from all of this is we only need to get top three in all of these races. So good luck on getting this completion guys and RIP to your thumbs. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If this video helped you out, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.